everyone. I have a really super easy craft tree today and it's for Easter. We're going to be making an Easter bunny. And I found this pre-painted egg at the craft store. And it's flat on the bottom so it sits, which is perfect, and I don't even have to paint it. And all I've done is using just regular craft foam, I have cut out parts for the bunny and I cut out some ears and all I do is I cut one out and then I trace it with the pencil on the craft foam, cut the other one out and then if there's any pencil markings on the side they erase right off with an eraser. So I've got the ears and I've got some pom-poms for the face, the nose, and the tail and I have a couple of googly eyes. And then I've cut out arms and feet also so we'll put it all together and the only other thing that I used is for the inside of the ears, like this, I used scrapbook paper. I had leftover scrapbook paper from a Valentine's craft, so I thought, well, I might as well use that, so that's what I've done. Now all we have to do is put it together. The first thing I'm going to do is the ears, and I want to make sure that I get them on correctly. So I had cut angles on each side. So they'll go like that. So I'm going to lay them down on my paper like this and take the inside pieces. And then I'm going to take just a glue stick and on the back side I'm going to put a little of the glue stick on there, take it, place it on the one ear, and then I'm going to do the same for the other. So now that the ears are done, I'm going to glue them on. I'm using hot glue. You could use a tacky glue, certainly, and any other glue would work fine. So if the kids are doing it and you don't want, want them using the glue gun, that's fine too. Um, just use a different glue. So I'm going to put a very thin stripe along the edge. And then I'm going to place it on the one side of the bunny. And if you get too much hot glue on there, just do as I normally do with the glitter. Throw a little glitter on there and it'll cover it right up. But if you're neat enough, you won't need it. Either way is fine. And there are the ears. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the eyes. I'm going to put a little dab on here. And if your, your glue gun is too hot, it might melt the eyes. So you do just want to be careful. And there are the eyes. So then we're going to move on to the nose, which I want it to be right between the right under between the eyes. So I'm going to throw a little glue on there, pop his nose in. And now these two things are on his face next to his nose, where usually where the whiskers stick out of. But before I do that, I'm going to just take a Sharpie marker, and I don't want to do this after just because I'm afraid that it'll show or I'll, I'll get marker on the white pom-poms. All I'm doing is drawing a mouth and you can make it any shape that you want. I'm doing a little bit of a triangle and it's not perfectly straight but that's okay. And then I'm going to glue the pom-poms in place. And they're going to partly cover the mouth there. And now you can see that there is a little black mouth showing but it's not showing completely. So if you don't draw perfectly, there's no, no reason to fret about that. So the next thing that we're left with is obviously the tail, which we'll do that right away. And I'm working on parchment paper because the hot glue won't stick to the parchment paper. So if you get a little drippy and anything gets on it, your rabbit won't be permanently stuck to your table. Okay, now we're going to do the legs. And all I did was I cut a couple of rectangles and put a little angle at the end. And that's just so it fits better up against his body. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a thin layer here of glue. And if there's too much, wipe it off on your parchment paper. I'm going to stick it right in there. And then for the feet, I just cut a couple of shapes out. Put a little glue on there. I 
Okay, and there we have the feet. So he's kind of just sitting there with his feet up. And then I have two thinner rectangles for the arms, and then a couple of shapes that I cut out for the hands. And his arms are just going to kind of be hanging on his side. I'll just glue those in place. And then I'm just going to have his hands hanging down from there as well. So a little bit of glue. Attach it any way you want. And there he is. There's your little Easter Bunny. And he's, he's really cute for the kids to help out on. They can make these all day. And you could add whiskers if you wanted to, but I think I don't think he needs it. I think you kind of get the idea who who he is and how he is, and you know you could put like a little basket by him or something if you wanted. And that's it. I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions on this or any of my other crafts, go to www.craftclutch.com, and there's a tab that says tutorials, and it has all the directions in there, so if you have any questions, normally you can find any answers there. I also have a tab that says the products that I use, so if there are any specific products that you're looking for, if I'm able to link it to my website where you can buy it, I will do that. So thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time. Happy crafting!